What's up Superfam, Super Surge here, and today I'm going to show you about certain steps that you can take to troubleshoot your heat press to ensure that you're pressing everything properly. So first and foremost, if you look right here, you're going to see that the collar is on the plant. What you're going to want to do is bring that off the edge of the plant because if not, that's not going to give you a proper press area and it's going to press a big ugly ring onto the back of your shirt, which you don't want. Next, you want to make sure that your pressure is set. So we're going to go ahead and push in our plant here. And then let's go and make sure that our pressure is good to go. Seems a little loose, so what you want to do usually is turn it until you can't close it anymore. Loosen it a tiny bit. And there we go. Our pressure is set and we were able to pre-press our garment. So now there's no moisture in the garment and there's a nice even pressing area for us to place our transfer. Let's go ahead, place our transfer, and then we're going to place a Teflon sheet or a curing sheet of your choice on top of your transfer. Press it for 15 seconds at 320 degrees, making sure that this is working properly. All right, let's move our sheet here and we're going to peel it instantly. Awesome. That's good to go. Next, we're gonna put our Teflon sheet back on there to make sure that our artwork doesn't stick to the top of the press. And we're gonna lock it in with a post press, three to five seconds. All right, now it looks like our press has been dialed in and that's good to go. Another thing you can do to ensure that your heat press is working properly is to use a laser thermometer gun. So what you can then do is kind of point it at each of your four quadrants on the top platen to ensure that the temperature that it's giving off is matching the readout that you have on your actual heat press. If it isn't, at that point, adjust up or down as needed and get in touch with your heat press manufacturer to see about what's needed to get that sorted out.